What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video and in this one I'm going to be giving you guys the solution to a question that I've gotten a lot over the past year in Madden 18 and that is what I think is a good way to stop the halfback pitch out of single back tight slots and I'm actually going to show you guys how to do it without even needing a user defender on defense. Now before I get into that real quick, if you guys enjoy the content, it would really mean a lot if you could subscribe and drop a like on the video. That way you'll get as many tip and breakdown videos as you can handle. Now, getting into the video, first things first, formation. On defense, I'm in the nickel 245 formation and the play we're gonna be going with is cover six. Now you can get this same look at a nickel normal, so it shouldn't matter what defensive playbook you're in, you should have access to one of those two formations pretty much no matter what book you run on defense. And uh, the way we're going to be setting this up uh, to stop it to the left first off, I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, the setup stops it both ways. But the reason it stops it to the left is you want a baseline press and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to man up this outside cornerback Waynes onto the outside receiver, in this case, Julio. So that's what your left side should look like. And something I'll do is you can go ahead and like pinch your line and crash them down. That might give you a little more help against the dive and make them think that they can run the pitch because now your D line is pinched. But really, you want them to run the pitch out of this look. And the reason is kind of obvious. You have the outside leverage on the left side of the field. And so uh, the pitch to that side between both the quarter flat by Terrence Newman and then the manned up corner, Trey Waynes, all the way to the outside, uh, they're just going to have no room to run to the left on the pitch. So right here, pitch outside, try and cut it up right there. Terrence Newman crashed down, got the guard onto the ground, which made it really awkward for me to try and cut it up with the running back in the backfield. And that's something that can definitely happen. Even if Newman doesn't get into the backfield and, and you know, make a play like that, um, Trey Waynes crashing all the way from the outside does a fantastic job as well. So right here, even if I try and cut it up, Trey Waynes is going to be there. I actually broke the tackle, but then help was there shortly after. And remember, guys, I'm showing you this without even a user defender. I would recommend definitely using one of these two linebackers if you're going to be, you know, playing at a decently high level. But if you don't want to, or if you're just not confident in your abilities yet, you can definitely use your defensive tackle and still be, you know, assured that you're going to have good run defense to both sides. So right here, once again, left, even if they try and cut it up, help's going to be there. So pitch is going to be stopped to the left. And the way you're going to stop it to the right is you're only going to have to make one more adjustment. In this case, you're going to go over to your strong safety. In this case, I have Andrew Sandejo, and you're going to man him up on the far outside receiver. In this case, that is Muhammad Sanu. And so uh, the reason you're going to do that is because when he was in his deep half, uh, he's going to drop back at the snap of the ball, but you want him charging forward and getting into the backfield. So manning him up on Muhammad Sanu is going to give him a chance to do that. You're going to see how he reacts after the snap of the ball. We're going to go pitch right here. And once again, Sandejo comes crashing down into the gap. More help arrives and an easy takedown gain of one. So that's exactly what you want to see from both sides of the field. And so now that you know you have pitch defense both on the left and on the right, then you can, you know, overcompensate and start defending against other popular things out of this set, like the halfback dive, like halfback wheel is a very popular passing play. And, you know, you can adjust from there. It's always a game of adjustments against you and your opponent. But knowing that you have this pitch defense locked up uh, that allows you to focus on other things now this is going to stop the base pitch to both sides to the left and to the right most people are going to try and run pitch right on this defense i'm just letting you know uh, because the nickel back is on the left and so people are going to think oh the left is loaded i'm going to try and run to the right and that's exactly why you want sendejo crashing down and also the outside cornerback right there you saw xavier rhodes very similar uh, to kind of what Terrence Newman does on the right side out of that slot and even you know Trey Waynes that's why you want him crashing down uh hit Xavier Rhodes in that hard flat is going to come flying into the backfield and can really make it difficult for that guard to pick him up and even if the guard does pick him up uh, you have the potential of you know him getting pushed into the running back or something like that happening so uh, that's the reason you're going to want to keep that hard flat out there you can change him to like a cloud flat if you want as long as he's in a flat zone uh, that'll be good now like I said you have to worry about the other plays. Also, a lot of people, you know, when they run tight slots, they'll also do a lot of motioning. So you can motion over, you know, Muhammad Sanu to the left side and run pitch left. This is a popular thing that people will do is they'll overload one side and then, you know, get an extra guy out there. Now, this way that I'm showing you can definitely still stop the pitch, even with the overloaded motion, like you saw right there to the left. 
or if they try to overload you to the right, you know, it can still be successful. At that point, I'm going to say you're going to have to at some point adjust and learn how to use her, a linebacker if you don't already, because that's going to help out a lot whenever your opponent's motioning over you know, if I want to run pitch right here and I motion over Julio, it's going to help out a lot if you can use her, you know, Eric Kendricks and get to the outside and, and try and make a play uh, rather than relying on the computer to do that. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind if your opponent does go with those motions. But like I said, this base setup is going to be able to stop halfback pitch to the left and to the right. Pretty simple to set up. Like I said, pretty much only two adjustments if you don't count base align and pressing, which is very, very basic. Just two man ups and you're gonna have pitch defense to the left and to the right. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope this was able to help you out. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, guys, take it easy.